Windows has had a long run. First version came out in 1985, so what's that? 38 years. Windows 95 is the oldest operating system I've used. And of course, as you can see, we are running on this Apple MacBook Pro. Trust me, it was a pain in the ass to get all of these Windows operating systems running on this. But because of the help of some really talented developers, there is a way to run all Windows operating systems on this Mac. Not very fast, but there is a way. So first up is obviously going to be Windows 11. It came out October 2021. Windows 11 actually runs quite well on this Mac because Windows 11 is on ARM. I still don't understand why did they have to move the start menu in the middle like why 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 fix something that ain't broke there was absolutely no reason to do that windows throughout the years has gotten very quiet i don't think there is is there a startup sound for this yeah oh there is a startup sound cool Ugh. steam i always have to bother me bro what that's literally the first time that's happened that has never happened before wow there's not much to really talk about here like it's the latest version what do you want me to say? There's not much to discover here. Let's rewind the clock a little bit. Windows 10, a little glitchy. Just a little, little, little bit, not too much. It's amazing that it does work. So let's count our blessings there. <sighs> that is slow. Again, no startup sound. I don't know why. <gasps> it's gonna f***ing update. I swear to God, yeah. <sighs> this has always been such a <gasps> Takes forever to boot as well. I feel like Windows 10 is still not nostalgic. People still use Windows 10 all the time. Kind of meh still. Although Windows 10 is very, very stable and was loved by a lot of people. I like it as well. I think it's time to go a little further back in time to Windows 8.1. Now I did just cover this operating system. It's not my favorite. It's one of those things as well, like the operating systems that are not loved, they have terrible driver support. Again, a very quiet operating system, no startup sound. I'm glad they brought it back for Windows 11 though. I don't understand why they put the start menu, like the touch-based start menu on this version of Windows 8.1. It's always gonna run on desktop computers. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea. Ah, but I see Internet Explorer was still a thing. And so was Skype. This was uh, 2013. You still have a little bit of the arrow. Ah, call me crazy, I always like Windows arrow. It looks a lot like Windows 7, to be fair. It's time to review everyone's favorite operating system. No, not, not XP yet. We have a Windows 7. I always like this little animation, beautiful. Ah, uh, perfection. This Windows 7 was just such a breath of fresh air, honestly. It was so simple, intuitive, it looked beautiful, it worked great. I mean, I just, call me crazy. You know what? I like this design aesthetic more than like Windows 10. Windows 10 is kind of bland to me. Can we just appreciate how beautiful that transparency looks? Like, honestly, it looks so nice. They really should bring it back, honestly. Although I do remember if you had Windows 7 Home Basic, you did not get the Arrow theme, which remember Microsoft and their bajillion editions back in the day. Yeah, kind of wild, like how they used to have different editions. This is just, I just, I like Windows 7 a lot. Let's go and shut down. If I remember, there's a sound for that as well. There we go. Let's go back to the original, to the real original, Windows Vista. Now I know people hate on Windows Vista and I made a whole video about it as well. It actually is quite similar to Windows 7, like. It's, it's even the same startup sound. See, it has the same sounds. It has the same aesthetic. There are some changes. I'd almost say that Windows 7 is almost a rebranded version of Windows Vista. The problem is that Vista actually came out too early. So in 2007, when Windows Vista came out, it was actually quite taxing on your computer. Windows XP is quite different from Windows Vista, but Windows Vista is not too different from Windows 7, which is not too different from Windows 8, which is not too different from Windows 10. You got widgets, which was not a thing. Also, by the way, guys, just a side note that Windows Arrow was actually introduced in Windows Vista. Oh, yeah, that looks so good, man. I really wish they brought back Arrow. I think we all know where this is going. XP, it's Windows XP. I think the XP is truly everybody's favorite. I, that is the most iconic sound. Although I do like this UI. I remember it was called the Fisher Price OS because apparently it looked too much like a toy, which I can kind of see, honestly. Also, of course, this iconic Windows XP background. This is actually a vineyard in California, but it doesn't look like this anymore because this was when it was empty. Now it's full of like grapes and stuff. Oh man, this is such a classic aesthetic. So many memories. Oh, let's, let's get the error sound. I do like the error sound in this. <laughs> Iconic. Well, all right, this one might be a little obscure. Maybe not all of you know about this. We're talking about Windows 2000.
That is beautiful. Let's see if we can get the resolution up. Ah, yes. No. The graphics driver I have, um, if I up the resolution, the colors will get worse. Okay, uh, the built on Windows NT technology, right? So there's a significant divide in Windows. Up until Windows ME, everything was based on DOS. Windows 2000 was the first like commercial release based on NT. Now NT is a different kernel and everything from Windows 2000 and up is based on the Windows NT kernel. And that's what we actually use to this day. Even Windows 11 is based on the Windows NT kernel. It does look significant ancient compared to windows xp like windows xp had like at least a few graphics you know what i mean like it had it had a little pizzazz you know what i'm saying like this looks more akin to uh windows 98 windows i mean we're gonna see that oh yeah your internet used to come through the telephone line interesting okay quick tangent so let me explain this dial-up aol thing I had to research this as well because this was well before I was born. Not old. But basically in the 90s you connected to the internet through the phone line. And you know this tone? That has been mythologized? That's literally the sound of two modems dialing the phone and calling each other to transfer data over the phone line. Which is why when someone used the phone for actual calling, the internet dropped because it's using the same line. As for AOL, well, it was a service that existed well before the internet or the World Wide Web. Like the internet as we know didn't exist. It was a private network that you paid for and then you could play games, access information, or chat to other people on that network but it was a self-contained network. The World Wide Web, or the internet, is kind of like the biggest public network where you could connect anywhere. And once that happened, AOL was kind of like a directory service like Google, but obviously well before Google. Which is baffling to me because by the time I was sentient, the internet was like it is today. Okay, let's move on. And I'm gonna warn you, it's not a pretty sight. So Windows ME does have a startup sound. It's just that it didn't play because there's no drivers for it. That's the thing with Windows ME. So Windows ME was kind of the, you know how people look down upon Windows 8 today. Well, people used to look down upon Windows ME in its day. It's, yeah, it's troublesome. Yeah, it's the most incompatible operating system we have used so far. And it's apparently known for a lot of blue screens of death as well. By the way, the ME stands for Millennium Edition, which I think it also came out in the year 2000. Okay, now it's time for Windows 98. Matrix-ass music is this, bro. Like, okay, so this is the highest color depth I've managed to get with the highest resolution. I look at the old Windows Update logo. That Windows logo looks so ancient now. That's what my computer looked like. Set up MSN internet access. It looks very, very ancient. It looks very simple. Windows 95, and that's Windows 95. Let me explain something, yeah? This is actually quite revolutionary. Like, you must have noticed that from Windows 95 to Windows 11, we've basically had the same setup. Like, you can see that there's a desktop here with icons, and then you have my computer and the recycle bin and the internet. That all started here. As you're gonna see, as we go back, things are getting even more archaic. We're still following this blueprint. Internet Explorer, that was the, like, really, really old icon, I guess. It really set us up for the next 30 30 years, as you can see. Online services, AOL, internet, free trial. <laughs> Guys, remember AOL? Oh wow, that is very basic. Also, another thing that Windows 95 started, it's this, the close button, maximize, and then the minimize button. That, that started here as well. And that's the control panel. Interesting. Let's move on, shall we? The next operating system is Windows 3.1. Oh shoot, wait, 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 wait. What the hell, dude? Okay, we are having some technical difficulties. Basically, the problem is we need to go into the boot menu and actually boot into DOS first. So yeah, like I said, Windows was just a shell on top of DOS. And then you have to go to C, Win. And that is Windows 3.1, 1992. It's from 1992. By the way, it does have a startup sound, but once we get past Windows 95, I, I, I cannot install drivers. It's, it's very confusing. But just for reference, that's what the startup sound sounds like. There's no close, minimize, maximize like buttons. It's just like one thing. It just seems so archaic. Like even Windows 95 seems like such a giant leap. Change the Windows theme. Why is that Arizona? Bordeaux, Emerald City. Ooh, that seems like a cool scheme. Let's see. <laughs> No, we're going back to bed. <laughs> I can't stand it. Oh wait, it's not even Alt F4, it's Control F4. It's like my computer, I guess. Paintbrush. Man, people in the 90s must be really bored. Didn't even show the time at the bottom. <laughs> you have to go into the clock app. Whoops. Games, Soldier and Minesweeper. I don't really know how this works to be fair. Minesweeper. How do I shut down? Exit windows. 
and then we're back in DOS. Time for Windows 2.0. 1987. That's it. That's that's literally Windows 2.0. Windows 2.0 is not running on a hard drive. It's running off of a floppy. I think a floppy can only hold about 1.44 meg. <laughs> yeah, that's all it took. Clock.exe. <laughs> Notepad. Oh wait, it did open. Oh boy. <laughs> Maybe it's time to move on to Windows 1.0 from 1985. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first ever launch of Windows. The graphical user interface, it was allegedly stolen by Bill Gates from Apple. I don't know what Payman is. What the hell is that? Close. What? No. Whoops. I just broke something. I massively broke something. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, again, this is running off of a floppy disk. Not gonna lie, Windows 2.0 was a little like softer on the eyes, you know what I mean? Close. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Whoops. The clock app never gets. Wait, how did I just do that? Phone dentist, priority C. Is this what people thought that we were gonna use computers for? Actually though, we do use computers for that, but not computers, we use our phones. Oh, I figured it out. If you double click that thing, that's when it goes back. I have actually no idea how DOS works. So I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. What did it ha- Damn it. Broke something again. Reversey.exe. Actually, I had to program the game Reversey myself for a school project. And by school, I mean college for all the non-Americans. Get it on. Okay, I'm bored. Can we just, I still can't get over it. Like how simple this is. Like, it looks like, like to us now, it seems so simple. How do you even program an operating system? Like you, there's, there's not a computer to make the computer. Like you make a program using a program, but what if there is no program? How do you, how do you, how do you make the first program? In fact, I think MS-DOS was written in assembly code, which is why it was thought of as more simple. I don't even think there's a way to shut, shut down. How do you shut down? Close. 